And what is going on, Internet? It is your favorite commentator, Double M Music Major, coming to you guys live with some awesome content. We're going to dive into it here. Mainly, this video is going to focus on this man that you're staring at, a Mr. Daniel Bryan, and his somewhat meteoric rise in recent weeks here in WWE, mainly on SmackDown, on Raw, uh, his short time with the Wyatt family. I mean, the whole title picture in the Royal Rumble this year is just very exciting. But uh, Daniel Bryan is just, oh, oh my goodness. We'll get to it later. But right now, as a WWE fan, you should be incredibly excited for things that are going on right now. Your champion, your WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Randy Orton, is doing some of the best mic work he has done in years. I love this paranoid effect, you know, this paranoid narrative that WWE is painting a picture with with Randy Orton, you know, and especially since Batista's back now, he he's constantly looking over his shoulder and he's not that confident, you know, coy kind of guy that he used to be. He's he's on edge and it gives him some sort of some human aspect to him that lets the us as viewers and consumers of the WWE product kind of relate and it's very exciting to see what narrative they're going to, you know, portray next. Personally, I think this Sunday at the Royal Rumble, I am just now reading courtesy of DailyDDT.com. Uh, if you guys haven't been over there, check out their website for sure. Is that uh, Daniel Bryan actually is not going to be in the Royal Rumble match? Uh, I read some uh, rumors that he may have a concussion of some sort. I still have yet to elaborate at the time when I'm recording this video, but uh, there are some interesting things that uh, may happen at the Royal Rumble. But let's talk about Daniel Bryan real quick. He's kind of had a roller coaster couple weeks. He's uh, been down on his luck. He joined the Wyatt family. He has shunned the Wyatt family and beaten Bray Wyatt to an absolute pulp in the steel cage match on January 13th in Providence, Rhode Island. It's a very interesting thing. One of the things that I was saying when I was watching that match with my roommate was that Daniel Bryan is now on a meteoric rise. It, it I've seen people kind of compare it to uh, John Cena or Stone Cold when he was in his prime, you know, and everybody is able to get behind an underdog story. Everybody loves an underdog. It's a proven fact. If you look at the Super Bowl in a couple days, well, not a couple days, a couple weeks, many people are going to root for the underdog. I don't know who their underdog is between the Seahawks and the Broncos. I think it's probably the Seahawks by like two or three points. But, it, you know, regardless, people like to root for the underdog. You like that come from behind story. To touch on a couple videos ago, uh, Kevin Ware, when he got hurt, everybody was wondering how he was going to bounce back. Everybody's wondering how Anderson Silva's going to bounce back. You know, and of course, everybody, WWE's resident underdog, Zack Ryder, everybody loves Zack Ryder. But the thing about Daniel Bryan is it, he's not gifted with a ton of talent, uh, but he is relatable. People can see a lot of themselves in him. A simple catchphrase, you know, with the yes and... You know, everybody just loves Daniel Bryan. There's not a thing to hate about him. I can even remember two years ago at the Royal Rumble when he was the WWE, well, not World Heavyweight Champion, but when he was the, I guess what would now be perceived as old World Heavyweight Champion, he was very relatable. I like the guy as a heel. He was just awesome. I'm expecting a lot of good things from Daniel Bryan here. This is Daniel, you know, 2014 is Daniel Bryan's year. It, he's either going to eclipse Randy Orton, he's going to beat Batista or Brock Lesnar. I'll get into that. There's a whole other video for that coming up. But he's going to beat whoever the World Heavyweight Champion is. I don't believe Randy Orton will lose the World Heavyweight title at the Royal Rumble. I think that's still to come at No Way Out. He's going to either lose to uh, Brock Lesnar... Uh, well, no, I'm not going to say Brock because I don't think Brock will win because we've we've had the temporary champion. I don't know what Batista's role is in WWE at the moment. I'm still trying to kind of figure it out. I don't know if he's there to promote his new movie that's coming out. I don't know if he's actually serious or if he's going to do like a Chris Jericho stint where he's back for six months at a time. But 
if Batista is serious and WWE is creative, is very serious about developing a champion, I can see Daniel Bryan overthrowing Batista, but also, also too, I can see Daniel Bryan get set up for a very awesome match with Randy Orton where he finally cracks the code, so to speak, and defeats him in a fair and square match. If WWE is thinking they will do a match similar to that, the crowd will be so evenly split down the middle. I know personally I will have some sort of internal struggle with this match because, as I said before, I am loving Randy Orton's mic work right now with the paranoid aspect that he has going on right now, and I'm loving Daniel Bryan. Everything Daniel Bryan is doing in the ring is fantastic. <laughs> and I just, you know, it it shows with him getting voted as, you know, the superstar of the year, John Cena personally picking the guy. I mean, goodness gracious, when Sergeant Slaughter is coming out in articles months ago saying that this kid's not getting a fair chance, WWE, are you listening to your fans? I'm sure the merchandise sales are through the roof, but you got to give the kid a fair shot, and I believe, like I said, 2014 will be Daniel Bryan's year. We'll see what happens at the Royal Rumble. If he does have this concussion, uh, I'll be interested to see if they don't switch the matchup completely uh, or if they let him wrestle. Again, I'll, I'll have more news to come on that. I'm going, I'm going to uh, watch SmackDown and find out what's going on and dig around on a couple more sites like Lords of Pain and whatnot. But regardless, you're, you heard it here, folks, guys. I mean, it's it's Daniel Bryan's year. And uh, I meant to talk about the other superstar in this match, uh, Wade Barrett, a little bit, but we didn't get around to it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, look for more videos coming out this week and a Royal Rumble preview. We'll talk to you guys later.